Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're so thrilled that you've joined us. I hope you'll get your Bible. I hope you'll listen to this segment over and over again and you'll study it, you'll think about it, and that you'll make sure that the things that I'm saying are coming from God's Word. We're talking about God's plan of salvation. In Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and 2, we find these words, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand. He talks about standing in the grace of God. And we're talking about the grace of God as if it is a place, as if it is a room. And he said, how do we get to the grace of God in which we're standing? He says we have access by faith. And we, we've talked about the fact we're going we're gonna to imagine a hallway. And we call that hallway the hallway of faith. And we know that that's essential because Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 6 says that without faith it's impossible to please Him. And there are a number of doors in that hallway. And the first door that we come to in that hallway, that we find the words, hearing God's Word. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And the person who refuses to listen to God, it's impossible for them in that state to ever be right with God. That's God's plan. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. We come to another door and we see the word believe. Jesus said in John chapter 8 and verse number 24, Unless you believe that I am, you'll die in your sins. Now, what is it that we're supposed to believe about Jesus? Well, we need to believe that there was an actual historical person named Jesus. But we need to believe more than that because you see, even most atheists would have a problem denying the historicity of Jesus. They have a problem with the Jesus of the Bible. And we look at passages like John chapter 1 and we see that Jesus is eternal. Jesus was the creator. We see that Jesus is also the source of life and light. And more importantly than that, we see that He lived the perfect life. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15 says that He's without sin. We go on and we see that He gave His life for us and He made the payment for our sin, John 2 and verse 2, and that He was resurrected from the dead, Romans chapter 10, 9 and 10. And as we look at all these things, we have to come to the conclusion. We have to reach the conclusion. Is it true or is it false? Is Jesus who that He says that He is? And if He's not, then we have to make that decision as well. Join us again tomorrow for this, your daily 180 Bible study.